Welcome to this series of short videos that explain your online training file and how to update it. This video will introduce you to the Practical Work Experience tab. As part of your ACA training, you will gain practical work experience with an ICAEW authorised training employer or principal. You will need to be training for at least 36 months in total, and during this time, you must record a minimum of 450 days of relevant work experience. You will record your practical work experience from the first day to the final day of your training, even if you achieve the 450 days before your final day. Now let's go to the Practical Work Experience tab. Here, you will see the total number of days you have recorded to date at your primary authorised training employer, ATE, and any days you have worked at another ATE or an unauthorised employer. In this tab, you will add the number of days you have gained in the last six months. Remember, one day is seven hours long and involves relevant work of a financial, commercial or business nature, and does not include sick leave, holidays, study leave, off-the-job training, or office administration. Keep a note of your days via your employer's internal time recording system. If your employer doesn't have a time recording system, note the days in a spreadsheet or a diary. Your qualified person responsible for training, QPRT, principal or counsellor, will verbally approve your number of days during your six monthly review meeting. And once approved, you can add the number of days to your file. Preparing your file for the six monthly review. Click on Add Practical Work Experience. Your file will remember where you are up to and will add the start date. This date cannot be changed. If this is your first entry, the date will be the first day of your training. Select a closing date of the period you are recording. This needs to be as close to six months as possible and no longer than eight months. Add the number of days worked at your primary ATE. This is your main office where you work and are registered. Type in the name of the person who carried out your six monthly review. Confirm that the review has taken place and that all entries within your training file for the period are accurately and honestly presented and click Save. Two-stage approval process. Some employers have a two-stage approval process in place, where your entry will need to be signed off by another authorised person. If this is the case, add the number of days and the name of the first approver. You will then need to select an authorised person from the drop-down menu to sign off your entry. If the authorised person does not agree with your entry, they can reject it. You will need to correct the error and submit again. Once the entry is confirmed by the authorised person, it is saved in your file. If you need to make a change after the entry has been saved, our student support team is on hand to help. Lots of students gain more than 450 days of practical work experience during their training. If you have more than 450 days, you must continue to record your days until the final day of your training. Your last entry of practical work experience must end on the final day of your training. If you have not gained 450 days when you reach the end of your training, speak to your QPRT, counsellor or principal, as you will need to extend your training period. It's worth noting that if you leave employment during your training, you must arrange for your file to be cancelled by your QPRT or principal. This will ensure that your practical work experience is up to date before you leave. If you don't do this, you will not be able to re-register with another employer and may also lose practical work experience days that you have already gained. Get to know your file and update it regularly. For hints and tips to help you and to watch all the videos in this series, go to icaew.com forward slash your file. Our student support team is also here to help you. Contact the team by live web chat, Mia, our chatbot, call or email us.